Well, I guess we'll start down at the actual ram pump itself. Uh, the delivery line system all seems to be intact, so that's good. As well as the output side of the pump, all those fittings seem okay. I know we did split this one valve here. I think I actually have a spare for that still, so that's not a big deal. Uh, <laughs> pressure gauge is pretty shot, so we'll have to replace the pressure gauge. Uh, obviously the pressure chamber, hold on, let me step around here, a little bit muddy. Uh, obviously the pressure chamber split six ways from Sunday. Um, boy, and I don't think, I don't think that's going to be repairable really with any of the parts that are there except maybe on this side it looks like that part of the pressure chamber is okay and that's really all the volume we need. Uh, so we may be able to cut off right there and then uh, replace everything below because I know all that stuff is fractured. If you look a little closer, you can see the fracture lines running around it. Um, the really good news here is that we didn't blow up the expensive brass valve. That is intact and, uh, and undamaged as far as I can tell. Which, that's really exciting news, because that valve, if I recall, is about 75 or 80 bucks. So that's good. Um, we did split pretty much everything else. Hold on, let me get this. Set back on here so it doesn't get lost. Uh, we did split pretty much everything else here. Uh, all the way. Right up. fractured all the way down, all the plastic. Fortunately, uh, the plastic isn't as nearly as expensive as the rest of it. Um, I don't think we split any of the cast fittings, so I think those will be okay. And as far as I can tell, the spring-loaded check valve didn't take any damage either, and that's good because that's also about 75 bucks. Those two valves are the, the really pricey part of this that I'd hate to have to replace. Um, some of these other fittings actually can be pretty pricey when you get up into three and four inch range. But uh, yeah, so we got to rebuild the pressure chamber and the uh, the connection between the output side and the pump itself. Of course, in the process, I will upgrade that to a higher quality. Um, I always like to take the opportunity and make upgrades out of repairs. Uh, let's work our way back up the line. Obviously the drive line split. If you can see that crack starting right there at the head and it runs right on up and you can see it actually completely split open up here. Um, so everything up to at least here, actually even to there, I think the split ends about, oh no, there's still crack there. There's still crack here. I don't know if you can see that. There you go, now you can. So basically the entire drive pipe split open. That'll be need to be replaced. If I can afford it, I'd like to upgrade that to steel and improve our pump efficiency. We'll have to see. I think that's about 200 bucks worth of steel line, so I don't know if uh, I'll be able to budget that just yet. Maybe I'll make that upgrade later in the season. Uh, you can see I uh, flushed out the uh, supply line back in the winter. And got it running. That's running like a champ now. That's probably 25 or 30 gallons a minute coming out of there. So uh, it's begging me to put it back online. Uh, let's just look at this quick. This is the standpipe, and you can see we split pretty much everything on here as well. You can see the splits in that bottom fitting. And then it looks okay from this side, but when you get over here, you can see it split up the back. Um, I mean, and there's not enough room really. Well, maybe there is. I don't know. Let's look at see if any more of this is split on the other side. We might be able to save some of this, which would be nice. Nope. Nope. This split as well. So that's out. Really, basically, the only thing that survives is the upper portion, I think. I'm not even sure that did. Uh, I think that actually did. So it's possible 
we can save the top half of this and then we only need to get uh, two of these uh, four inch two inch fittings and I think we're gonna move I think we're gonna move the fan pipe out to the left a bit more whoops I gotta step over pipe here I think we're gonna move the standpipe out to the left a bit more bring the supply pipe which didn't take any damage thank God uh, down in and, and deliver our water at a lower point in the standpipe so that when we have a clog like I had last year a couple times in this line I'll have a little more drop which will give me a little more pressure and flow to clear that clog and um, should just make the standpipe operate a little more efficiently so it looks like we need uh, need some fittings need some pipe um, but it's not too awfully bad. So, uh, I think that pretty much covers it. Um, everything else survived from the supply line back. Um, I did break this one valve back in the winter. I think we had a light freeze and I put too much torque on it and I broke the, the handle off the valve, but the valve itself is still functional. I may replace that anyway, just to, uh, just to make it easy to turn it on and off. It's really nice to be able to shut the system off easily to work on it. Um, anyway, so that's uh, that's the assessment of the ram pump damage. Uh, like I said, I think this supply line will come back. We'll push it over more. We'll push the whole line system over maybe two to five feet, something like that, and end up somewhere near that pallet as our center point. I'll give you a shot back up that, and you can see that line will have to come over quite a ways to line up here, but I think that's doable. Also, that maple log that I've been using to cross is coming out. Uh, I actually, I don't think I said this on YouTube at all, but I actually slipped off of this back in December, December 4th actually. I slipped off this and landed wrong and broke a rib. Uh, so. Uh, no more of this log. It's coming out, and uh, I will probably put a, an actual bridge decking in here uh, so I can get the, uh, the lawn tractor and uh, wagon and stuff down in here, which will make it easier for filling up for foliar feeds and accessing firewood and working on the ram pump and all that kind of stuff. So uh, lots of upgrades coming this year, and uh, it's going to be an exciting season for 2018. Uh, lots more to come, lots more planned that I haven't discussed yet, and I hope you'll stay tuned to the YouTube channel and, uh, and see what we're up to. For now, uh, that's the assessment of the ramp pump. I'm going to go ahead and get a parts list together here, and uh, we'll move on with the project. For now, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seas Network.